Are you ready to find the perfect outdoor dog toy for this summer? Lucky for you, our dogs have tested some of the top flying discs from your favorite brands. And today, TTPM Pets is going to let you in on which ones are worth the hype. But before we get into that, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below so you don't miss any more of our dog toy reviews. Chasing Squirrels takes on a whole new meaning with this flying squirrel toy from Chuck It. Now you want to make sure you give it enough spin when you throw it because it will fly better. So to throw you just hold one of the squirrel's paws in your hand. Coil your wrist towards your forearm, throw it like a disc, and then watch the squirrel soar. This was definitely a favorite for Lexi and Piper. And the material was ideal for them because the canvas is soft and gentle when they hold it, but also durable enough to be played with a lot. The sides of the squirrel are also raised, which made it easy for them to pick up off the ground. Lexi especially liked to hold it by the corners where the squirrel's paws are, which are padded with a squishy material. The paws even glow in the dark so you can play day or night. While the flippy flopper from Hyper Pet is soft and light, it's definitely not flimsy. Even when Logan tugged it and thrashed it around, it didn't show any signs of wear and tear. This floppy toy comes with all the glide of a hard disc, minus the worry that your dog will injure their mouth on shards of plastic. That's because it's made from multiple layers of soft nylon and rubber that are safe for teeth. But HyperPet specifically tells you that this is not designed to be a chew toy. So it's a win if your dog loves long distance fetch, and is good about giving toys back when you tell them to. But probably not the best choice if you're looking for something your pup can play with while unsupervised. Dex loves anything with a squeaker, so naturally he loved the Kong Ballistic Boomerang, which actually includes several squeakers inside. The Trident design was the perfect shape for playing fetch and tug with him. It's made of three layers of durable material that are held together by eight rows of stitching. On the outside, it's covered in a soft fleece that's really gentle on teeth and gums. The mid layer is made from ballistic nylon. And finally, the inside is made from polyester. With that said, this is definitely geared more toward moderate to light chewers. And you really wanna keep an eye on your dog with this boomerang, especially if they're a heavy chewer. After about 15 minutes of playtime with Dex, it did start to show some signs of tearing on the stitching and the outer layer. Nerf's Dog Flyer Atomic Toy is a rubber disc that's lightweight and flat, which makes it easy to throw and take on the go. And it's even able to float in water. It goes really far when it's thrown, and this was great for playing fetch with Dewey because he loves to chase and run long distances. Bruno and Dewey are not the most graceful dogs, so catching it was pretty much out of the question for them. But thankfully, instead of being completely flat, the toy has some ridges. So it was easy for them to pick up off the ground. This is slightly softer and more flexible than your average hard plastic disc, but we still probably would not recommend it for activities involving a lot of rough play or chewing. As you can see, Bruno and Dewey have managed to puncture the toy in several spots, and even started to chew through the plastic. And all of this is from only a few minutes of playing with it. If your dog needs a fetch toy they can chew on every once in a while, then Rough Dog's Canine Flyer has your back. The material is soft, non-toxic rubber, so it won't irritate teeth and gums. It's super flexible too, and seems pretty resistant to tearing, which is awesome for playing tug. Although it's really versatile, the disc doesn't float in water, so it's probably not your best option for taking to the beach. We love this toy for retrievers like Lexi who love to, you guessed it, retrieve. She really enjoyed catching the flyer in her mouth and running after it for fetch. Now if you guys have tried any of these toys at home, we definitely want to hear from you. So go ahead and make sure to leave a comment down below to let us know your thoughts. And this is what we thought about them. First up are pros. Unlike hard plastic flying discs, these toys are soft and they prevent irritation on your dog's teeth and gums. They're all really easy to throw, they go long distances, and with the exception of the rough dog canine flyer, they can float in water. 
As for cons, as much as our dogs love to play fetch, they also love to chew, and these toys are not ideal for heavy chewers. On the whole, we give these flying discs 4 out of 5 stars. And remember to see more honest reviews of the latest pet toys, you're going to want to subscribe to our channel before you go. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.